Tignan mo nga. Ay, hindi na. Sige po. Wait. Check, check. check mo now. Yan pa rin eh. Oh. Okay. Wait lang dito. Live. Hello, everyone. Hi. Okay. I think that's it. Nag-live na. Yes? Ay, salamat. Teka, how do I see kung sino yung mga... Tita, bali sa, sa laptop ka titingin sa camera ng laptop mo. Tapos, pupunta ka po sa page ni I am using your phone para makita niyo po yung, ano, yung mga chat ng mga member. Ah, sa so page ng... Okay, sa phone. Sandali. Ah, using phone, po. yes po. Okay, wait lang. Sa laptop ka po titingin para yeah. mag-live. Okay. Pero sa phone po yung mga chat nila. Pupunta ka po sa mismong live ni I am. So, magla-live ako sa I am ulit? Uh, punta ka lang po sa page ni I am using your phone. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Sorry guys, sobrang technical nito. Hindi ako sanay. <laughs> Tanda ako na, anak. Ano ba to? <laughs> Hindi naman. Inaabangan ka, tita. Kanina pa. <laughs> sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. Oh, my gosh. Di bale, I'll make it worth your while. I promise. Sandali. Meron ako mga ni-research para sa inyong lahat. So, dyan lang kayo. Kaya nga, alis. Okay. Ito na. Ayan. Nakikita ko na. Ang sarili ko. Live. Ayan. Comments Ay, agad. Nila, tita. Ayan na. Amazing morning. Birthday ko, malapit na. O, malapit na rin ang birthday ko. <laughs> Ayan. Okay na. End ko okay na yung tayo. Ha? Okay, thank you. Bye. Hi, everyone. Amazing morning. Can you see me? Is it clear? Ayan na. Amazing morning. Birthday ko, malapit Is it clear? Amazing morning, team. Okay. Lexi is watching. Hi, baby. <laughs> okay. Should I start na? Wala akong makita ng mga ano dito. Eh. Tsaka parang delayed yung camera. Amazing morning po. Watching. Okay. So, I will assume that you are all here. Let's see how many followers we have. 1,100 followers so far. Sige. Let's wait um, mga two more minutes. I love you, Lex. I see you. I'm supposed to look at this camera pala. Okay. Uh, yes, very clear. Excited from Hong Kong. Okay. Everybody can hear me well? Yes? Thumbs up kung mga ano. You can hear me. Yes po, loud and clear. Hi, Nak Bridge. Okay. So, it seems like we're okay na. I'm going to get my stand for my phone para I can do both together. Amazing morning. Wow, meron tayong galing Nueva Ecija, Hong Kong. Everybody's here. Okay, we have 1,300 viewers. Malaysia. Okay. Alright, I think I'm going to start na. Alright. First of all, amazing morning, everybody. I am your Barley Queen, your one and only um, supplier ng I am Worldwide, of course. Your Miss Marie Tony Fernandez. Um, tonight, uh, bago tayo nag-start, I know it's been a while since I did a product knowledge. Um, I will refrain from reading your comments for now because I want to focus on what I'm going to be teaching you tonight. And... Um, if I keep on looking at your comments, I'm going to be distracted. So, I will focus on just the things that I have to say and then later, magbabak read ako and for, I'll probably give you a little bit of time for questions. 
I will not keep reading while I'm giving my talk. Kasi if you ask questions now, hindi ko rin makikita. Is that okay with you guys? Um, para clear tayo, ha? Can somebody say okay? <laughs> so I know that you got what I am trying to tell you. Okay? Okay. Um, parang may delay yung laptop ko sa phone, so I will wait. Okay, I think it's okay na. I will go on with my seminar for tonight. Okay, again, um, amazing morning to everybody. Thank you for joining us. We are now, we have currently 1,600 viewers. It's a privilege for me to be here. Um, alam ko medyo mahirap dahil lockdown, hindi tayo nakikita-kita ng personal. But um, because of technology, we are able to still conduct these seminars for our members and distributors. First of all, thank you, Anak Aika, for helping me out and getting this um, to work because um, I'm really, I'm 52 years old in, in about a month. So, medyo pagdating sa mga ganito, medyo low-tech ang lola nyo, okay? Um, anyhow, let's get started. Um... As you well know, all of you, I am um, the CEO and president of Herb All Organic, which is the partner of I Am Worldwide. I am also the sole supplier for all of our products, and I'm also in charge of all the documentations and making sure that all our products are above board and legitimate and um, the best in the world, basically. And I really spend most of my time making sure... Um, that those things are done. Which is why most of the time, nasa behind the scenes ako. Hindi niyo ako masyado nakikita except for these um, product knowledges that we have. Um, rest assured that whatever it is that you guys uh, post or uh, yung mga queries niyo regarding our products, I am always able to see them, uh, especially when they're done through I Am Worldwide's page and also directly through my page in um, Facebook and also on IG. Anyway, um, tonight I wanted to discuss a little bit more in depth about our barley product. Why? Because of the pandemic. As we all know, matagal pa siguro makakarating sa Pilipinas yung mga um, vaccines na, na meron abroad. Right now, they have started rolling out those vaccines all over the world, especially in the first world countries. But it looks like third world countries are going to come last when it comes to that. But the good news is, it seems like it is mostly uh, tragic for people who have very bad immune systems. Yun yung mga talagang malakas na tatamaan ng COVID. So, uh, paano yun konektado sa atin? Well, um, what I... I'm happy to say is if you're, it is directly related because if your immunity is up, then you have a very, very big chance of not getting COVID at all. As long as you wear your mask and your, and your shield and the normal um, department of uh, no, World Health Organization protocol, which is to wash your hands all the time. Me personally, I don't, you know, I've, I've never been La Quachera. So, my life during COVID has been pretty much the same as it's always been. I've not been affected very much. Why? Dahil nga hindi naman ako masyadong nagpupunta sa mga public places. And when I do, I really make sure that I'm completely protected. And I think that these things are very important right now. And that's why I wanted to share that right off the bat. So, Having said all of that, I will regress a little bit. I'll go back to the beginning and I will make kwento a little bit about how and why barley, I am barley, is available and is actually now becoming, thank goodness, a household name here in the Philippines. Anyway, um, a little background. Um, in year 2000, I was diagnosed with stage 2B. of my right breast 
And um, I was only 30 years old at the time. Can you believe I'm 51? I'm almost 52. So in short, almost 22 years ago, I was first diagnosed. Um, considering everything, I was pretty young for a cancer survivor, a cancer patient. So all the doctors were very freaked out. They told me that um, I had 50-50 chance of survival. My only, the good thing about my cancer was that I caught it early. It was uh, actually very small, like the size of a maybe 25 centavo coin. And um, nung ginawa nila yung needle biopsy, nakita nila na negative lahat ng lymph nodes. Meaning, hindi pa siya kumalat from the original site of the cancer. Okay, I will be, I'll put the camera a little lower. It was here. My breast cancer lump was found here. So, um, at the time, I felt freaked out, of course. Uh, I was only 30, turning 31. And I, my daughter back then, si Alexi, was uh, six years old. And I'll never forget, I was more scared about dying because I was frightened that I would leave my little girl without a mom. Even back then, I was already a Christian. So, I knew that if my time was up, then... Talagang wala na ako magagawa except to accept that that is the Lord's will for my life. My prayer was just that my daughter would be okay, um, that uh, somebody would take care of her if I was gone. But inevitably, of course, I really wanted to fight to live to see her grow up someday. By the way, Alexi now is 26 years old and she's living, um, taking up her master's in Melbourne, Australia. Who would have ever thought? And back then, when I got diagnosed with cancer, I was in the States. I was actually accompanying my mom, who was very sick at the time. She was having heart uh, pain in her chest, very bad pain in her chest. And um, nobody here in Manila, we went to several doctors, specialists. She was actually uh, confined in a hospital for a really long time. We were getting mixed diagnoses from different doctors. Until we decided, you know what, why don't we take her abroad and get uh, a, a doctor abroad to try to diagnose and see, to compare if it was the same as what she was being diagnosed with here. Long story short, um, my mom was fine after a few days. And my uncle, who was the doctor in the States, who was um, the one that helped us out with my mom, he was also a doctor. So I mentioned to him lang na, Tito, I, I feel something on my right breast, a lump, ganyan, ganyan. And, and sabi niya sa akin, well, it's probably nothing, bata ka pa. Um, why don't we just, if you want, do a needle biopsy just to make sure. And then, you know, para when you go home, ano ka, ka your you have peace of mind. So long story short, I did that and turned out that it was full-blown cancer at the age of 30. So... Talagang when somebody tells you you have cancer, when you're that age, ang mga kilala ko lang or naririnig ko na nagka-cancer were people who were old already. And most of the time, when they have cancer, they die. So, syempre, um, I automatically thought, I'm gonna die. That's it. My life is over. But as time went by, um, I realized that it wasn't that simple. You, you know, people don't just get cancer and die. People uh, actually um, have to go through a procedure. They have to go through a lot of medical procedures. They have, to, they have a team of doctors that help them um, with a protocol laying out what they should do. It's basically a battle plan. It is not um, the end all and be all of your life. Actually, it's it's the opposite. It's like the beginning of a battle that you're about to face. And it's only scary if you don't know um, anything about the battle. Like anything in life. Diba? Kung, kung meron kang pagdadaanan na hindi mo naman masyadong alam kahit sa trabaho. Kung meron kang homework sa boss mo, hindi mo alam yung how to go about it. Siyempre, natural, um, mahirap. Pero, pag alam mo na yung protocol, alam mo na yung pagdadaanan mo, it becomes a lot simpler. Not necessarily easier, but simpler. It becomes easier to absorb in your mind. It becomes um, 
uh, um, easier to accept that there there is this battle ahead and that you have to do that battle. Anyway, um, the reason why I was saying that is because the whole reason why we conduct these product knowledges is because like anything else that's difficult in life, without the tools and without the knowledge, you are unable to impart what you're supposed to know. You, you know, the same, as the saying goes, knowledge is power. So once in a blue moon, I will come and give these um, product knowledge seminars. And they are rare because I'm also very, very busy. Believe it or not, even if it's COVID, I am totally up to my neck. Um, I have I have three boys that I take care of. I, I'm recently married. Um, and life is very um, full, but happy. And um, because of my love for uh, I Am Worldwide, because of my love for our distributors, and because I truly believe in my heart that this is my calling to share and impart the knowledge that the Lord has blessed me with, I do make it a point to come and um, give talks. So tonight, um, we will start off by showing a short video clip of um, the farm where our barley comes from. And then we can proceed to talk more about what it is, how it helped me in my struggle with cancer, my journey with cancer, and how um, much of a role it plays in my life even up to today. Okay? So, Kuya Rob, if you can hear me, can you please start the video? Please let me know if the video is playing na. Okay, I just got a message that uh, needs a zoom ang video. Dun po tayo bang play ng video. Okay, so I guess we're not playing the video tonight. And are we playing it? Wait, let me ask. Huh? Uh, will we play it? Tonight? Maybe what they can do is um, send the link here. Can you send? Okay, in the meantime, anyway, um, since that is not happening, it looks like I will continue our product knowledge from here na lang, okay? So anyway, as I was uh, saying, I would tell you a little bit more about how I discovered barley. 
Um, during my first chemo treatment, like I said earlier, I, I had full full on um, cancer at the age of 30. So, um, I was diagnosed with that and when I was told what the protocol was going to be, I was also told about all the side effects it was going to have in my life. At 30 years old, I only had one daughter and I had still planned on having more children, at least at least isa pa, because I didn't want my daughter to grow up alone and in the inevitable case that I might die, I didn't want her to be alone in this world. So I really prayed hard um, that despite everything the doctors told me, which were quite scary at the time because sabi nila na um, when I start my chemotherapy, that my um, ovaries would shut down completely as a result of the side effect of the chemo. And um, sure enough, they did. Uh, after taking my second dose of chemo, I think, or my third, it completely shut down. I did not get my period anymore. And I really thought that was it. Um, among many things, there were a lot of side effects um, from chemotherapy that were detrimental to my health. And some, quite honestly, I am still battling with up to today. But we'll get to that later. I'm getting ahead of myself. So, um, during chemotherapy, after my second treatment, I decided that I would try to learn as much about my disease as I possibly could. Because like I said earlier, diba, knowledge is power. And if you want to know about anything, you have to learn about it. And so what I did was I did all the research online. I tried to get as many books as I could get a hold of to study about breast cancer. And um, I also wanted to learn how I could make contra the side effects of all the drugs that they were giving me. And at that time, um, I'm sorry guys, I just have to say, uh, I ha I'm speaking in English because I have a feeling that and dami nating nanonood abroad right now. So forgive me if it's a little difficult um, for our... Um, Filipino members na, who don't really understand English that well. But I promise I will try to inject Tagalog every so often. And um, anyway, okay, I will try to go on. Uh, where was I? Okay, um, because I was going to face a life-challenging um, battle to be able to survive this disease, I decided that I would do research of my own. I learned that chemotherapy is extremely toxic to the body. I learned that a lot of the side effects are permanent. Um, I researched on uh, what I would be able and unable to do while ongoing, uh, ongoing with my chemotherapy treatments. And I also decided to look towards um, alternative medicine. Why? The background is when I was 10 years old, I studied in Taiwan uh, for two years. And uh, while I was there, I lived with an all Chinese family. And during that time, um, a lot of the times that uh, one of the children of the uh, elder people that I was living with, because it was a husband and wife with four kids and every time one of their children would be sick i noticed they didn't normally give them medicine right away they would give them herbal medicine like tea or something that would uh, be cooked up in their kitchen or some dried leaves or veg uh, some kind of vegetation or some kind of dried animal and they would use those to, you know, make something that would relieve the children who I was um, living with, basically. So my belief in uh, herbal medicine stems from those two years that I had spent in Taiwan. And um, as a result, when I got very sick, I knew immediately in my heart 
that it was a balance between my physical body, my emotional state, and um, the stress that I was going through in my life at the time. Needless to say, I believe that I had to do what the doctors were telling me to do, but at the same time, I needed to support that with uh, homeopathic um, treatment of my own. Of course, I didn't know anything about homeopathy at the time, and so I started to do my own research. The thing with being sick, guys, is when you're sick, you have a lot of time. And if you have time, then you have time to delve into books and into the internet, and you have time to build knowledge. And as a result, I basically went through um, the whole gamut of for all the herbs and all the um, alternative medication that's out there. And I used, um, what would you say? How could I describe it? I, I, I used um, the system of uh, basically comparing one with the other. And if one is stronger, then I would get rid of the other and I would stick to the stronger one. The one that would be more likely to help me recover from all the toxicity that chemotherapy was going to um, do to my body. In a nutshell, I went through a lot, a lot of herbal um, information. And at the end of the day, I realized that the king of all herbal medication is barley. Why? Because barley basically is the purest and most nutritious um, piece of vegetation, if you can even call it that, that God has ever created on the face of this earth. Now, it's a big thing to claim, I understand, but I'm not talking from my own um, experience only, okay? Not, not just from my own testimony. I'm talking from research that has been done by a lot of people. One of whom, I'm sure you all know, is um, Yoshihide Hagiwara, MD. I'm sure you all know about him. Anyway, okay. So because of him, because of my research with him, uh, I realized that everything all the other herbs were telling me or claiming to be able to do for me, it was already right there in one herb, and that's barley. So at the time, I wasn't allowed to have or bring anything into the hospitals, but when my chemo started, I decided that I was going to try this barley. After my first chemotherapy, I literally landed in the ICU. Um, I was completely fine when I walked into the hospital. Of course, I knew I had cancer, but I, I was completely fine. I wasn't feeling weak or anything. I just felt normal. I walked in, had my chemotherapy. It was in a lazy boy watching a TV um, with this um, like plug that went straight into my um, vein here, which went straight to your heart. It was a, called a porta cath and um, that took all of about 30 to 40 minutes. After that, I still felt kind of okay. The doctor told me it wouldn't hit me until about four hours after. So I had time, I felt I had time to walk in the supermarket, buy a few things, head home, relax, and basically what happened is I started to shake, like literally shake while I was in the supermarket. I thought I could handle it. Um, I couldn't. Apparently, I was running a 104 degree fever by the time they got me to the ICU in the hospital. Uh, needless to say, I was kept in reverse isolation for the next three weeks. And all the doctors were trying to do was raise my white blood cells back to normal so that I would be able to 
have the second dose of chemotherapy, which is due after 21 days. So during reverse isolation, I was in a bubble, in a hospital bed with a plastic bubble. And um, nobody was allowed in or out of my room except for the doctors and the nurses who would um, check on me every day. And I was also allowed to have a laptop. And that's when I started my crazy research on how to reverse the deadly um, toxicity that the that chemotherapy is doing to my body. That's when I discovered barley. Now, I asked um, someone to sneak it into the hospital room for me. And after I started drinking the barley on my second chemotherapy, I no longer became like a vegetable. Within four days of having my um, chemo infusion, is what they call it, I was on my feet and I felt completely normal again. So I knew that the only thing different... Oh, and by the way, I asked the doctor specifically if they had lowered my dose or anything because of the way my body reacted to the first chemotherapy. But they told me they had not. It was completely the same protocol that they gave me the, the first time. So the only thing different I did basically was that I was taking barley. And um, so I knew already even as early as then, that was year 2000 by the way, so it's now year 2021, that was 21 years ago, that there was something amazing about this barley. Um, and Again, fast forward tayo a few years later, I, I was back in Manila, I was completely okay, I was back in showbiz, and I couldn't get barley out of my mind. I was still taking it personally every day, and um, I thought, you know what, I have so many friends that I know of in Manila that are struggling with different sicknesses. I had friends even back there who were trying to have babies for seven years, they'd been married now for so long, and they couldn't get pregnant. And I just figured, you know what? Why not let them try it? I mean, what's there to lose? It's gulai, basically. Concentrated gulai. But the difference is that it has all these amazing qualities in it. Which is why we're going to have our product knowledge tonight. I will... I actually listed them down about two hours ago because I really wanted to share something really different tonight. Aside from my own personal journey with cancer and my own testimony um, and in the hope that those of you who have already read or heard or know about my personal journey um, will learn something new okay so anyway um, I started taking the barley um, my next few chemotherapies went by a lot smoother I was not feeling deathly sick anymore I was able to actually cook um, every day for my daughter who's with me in the US back then um, and life wasn't as uh, painful a struggle as it had been immediately after my first chemo so now the battle was in my mind I was already thinking okay um, there is a point in time where after you get diagnosed you think you're gonna die and then after that you realize wait a minute I'm not gonna die and then you realize that this is actually something you can win and when that happened that there was a shift in my mindset and I realized that you know I must still have a purpose in my life and I think that well, not, no, I don't think. I know very much deep in my heart that the reason why I'm still around today is really because of what I do now, which is produce products and talk about and share my personal journey so that a lot of people can prevent getting sick. And a lot of people can get better even if they are struggling and going through something as awful as what I went through. So having said that, guys, let's begin um, our uh, product knowledge proper. 
Okay? So earlier to, earlier on today, I was reading again. I read back some of the information that I had discovered while I was very sick. Um, put it plainly, our bodies are... How can I put it? Everything in your body needs to be balanced. You know, you always say, oh, people always say, not too much of one thing. Kailangan balansihin mo naman, di ba? That's, that's a typical Pinoy saying. I hear it all the time. Uh, kung may hard work, may konting relax, di ba? May, may relax din para balansi ang buhay. Kapag may uh, sadness, dapat may saya. Okay? Um, bilugang mundo, they always say that. Minsan nasa ibaba, ah, nasa ibaba, ah, minsan nasa taas. Okay, all these things in life basically is a balance. Am I right? Um, so, what is it uh, that I want to share with you tonight? Um, what I discovered about my personal journey is that the most important thing in one's health is to have everything that you need to have good health. What do I mean by that? To have good health, you need to be able to balance five things in your system. I don't mean in your life. I mean in your body. You need to take proteins every day. You need to have your minerals. You need to have enzymes. You need to have chlorophyll and you need to have your vitamins. Normally, when I say those five things, meron na kayo naiisip. Like vitamins. Oh, I take my vitamins every day. Yung nabibili. Like yung mga over-the-counter vitamins. Okay? Now, the difference with vitamins that are over-the-counter and vitamins that you can get from food are completely different. Now, again, proteins. Like, pag sinabi kong protein, ano yung naisip nyo? Meat, di ba? Uh, fish, ayan. Eggs, correct? Those are what you think of. But there are also different kinds of protein. I will go through this one at a time para maintindihan ninyo. First of all, uh, the antidote for deteriorating a deteriorating body is nutrition. Again, the antidote for a deteriorating body is nutrition. It's that simple. So, why barley? Because barley is the only, the only, um, how can you call it? It's grass, eh, diba? But it's the only form of vegetation or sige na nga, grass it's the only huh, it's the only food out there that you can take that um, has all those five things that your body needs has proteins minerals enzymes chlorophyll and vitamins and when i say that i mean in its purest organic form okay why, why am i saying this okay um Medicine kasi is either excessively inorganic or organic. That means um, medicine can be beneficial to the human body for only a temporary amount of time. Only if that person is diseased. I mean, kung may sakit. If you're sick, then the medicine is doing you well. But long-term administration of any medicine is detrimental because it basically causes an imbalance. Does that make sense so far, everybody? Yes? Thumbs up? Okay. So, because of this, I learned that the reason why barley is so amazing is because let's start Lima yon, di ba? Okay, so I'm going to start off with minerals. Minerals, basically when you say mineral, what do you think of? Minerals come from the earth, correct? Yes or no? 
Yes, I see that. Yes, I got it. Very true. Okay. The young leaves of barley. Okay. Yun yung bagong usbong. Those plants sprout after dormancy of winter. You, you saw the video. And if you haven't, please check it out later. When I went to the farm, it was the height of um, the harvest time in Australia. When I went to the farm. Now, it was negative 4 degrees when I went there. The barley was at the best time to be harvested. Why? Because after winter, yung bagong usbong, the newly sprouted uh, leaves of the barley, were nurtured in the soil during the whole time of winter. And it was able to store up all the minerals in super high concentration. Okay? And therefore, when it sprouts into life, it is the most effective food to sustain humans. In short, all the nutrition was naipon during winter. And then, nung lumabas siya, biglang nandun lahat ng goodness. Okay, so balance and maintenance of minerals is key to your health. What are minerals that are key to the health of human beings? Potassium, magnesium, and calcium. Those are actually the three most important. Now, would you believe that we have the most natural form of getting those minerals in our barley? So if people say to you that, oh, barley is barley, it doesn't matter where it comes from. It matters. You know why? Because the barley that comes from that particular soil tells you the quality of the barley that you're getting. And the quality of barley, a quality of soil in Australia, where our farm is, is the best in the world. It's as simple as that. It cannot compare. No other country can compare to it. And the best thing about the farm where we get our barley from is that it was cattle. It was a cattle farm for 30 years. That means that soil is so full of nutrition. It's crazy. Plus, we're beside the river. Okay, so we have the one of the cleanest um, sources of water. Anyway, I shall not go on. I will just keep telling you about this uh, five things that we talked about. Just look at, just watch our video na lang for to see where actually our farms are located. Okay, so next, Nicole, digo, homework ako talaga. Next, we shall talk about alkaline. When I say alkaline, what comes to mind? Can somebody answer? What comes to mind when I say alkaline? Parang mga feeling ko, may kausap ko dito. Okay. Uh, wala. Okay. Basically, alkaline is the balance that your body needs to maintain good health. If your body becomes acidic, then you become sick. That's the bottom line. Alkalinity is key because when not balanced, when there's no balance in your alkaline levels in your body, it causes a lot of fatigue. Um, basically, what you eat, your environment, uh, your stress level, all this affects your alkalinity. Okay, your pH balance, correct, your pH balance. Yes, ang gagaling nga, nakikinig. Feeling ko, at least may kausap ko dito. <laughs> this is really difficult to be talking on your own without getting any feedback. I mean, in my ears. Anyway, so, your cell metabolism suffers when your alkaline level is imbalanced, which means there's too much acid in your system. That, in turn, causes fatigue, and fatigue is a, a result of the, something not right in your body. And this basically tells you that you need to find a way to balance out that system in your body again. Now, when you say alkaline foods, what is the number one highest alkaline food that you know? Uh, sige nga, I want to see. 
what can you come up with? Yung pinakamataas na alkaline na pagkain na alam ninyo. Hmm. I think alkaline properties of an alkali. Okay, pH balance. Ano nga yung pinakamataas na alkaline um, na gulay? Sige, na alam ninyo. Normally, diba, they say the higher, the deeper green the color of the vegetable, the higher the alkaline level. Correct? Okay. So, Oh, lemon. Lemon is also very acidic. Ha? Be careful because it's both. Okay, so lemon water, yun. Okay, but alkaline, generally speaking, from your food, it's the darker green the food, the better the alkaline level. But for me, ano yung pinakamalakas, pinakadark na, um, Vegetation, I would say, ayan, nakita ko na. Spinach is the number one. Some people are saying broccoli. Asparagus, hmm, not so. Kale and spinach. Okay, those are the two normally that comes up. Now, what if I told you, brace yourselves, okay, because this is fact. What if I told you that the alkaline level of spinach is 39.6? But the alkaline level of our barley from Australia is 66.9. Can I get a wow? Can somebody say wow, please? Okay? For me, that's really wow. So in short, basically, our barley has double the alkaline level of spinach. That is really something. Okay, so now, tunay yun, ha? you know that the minerals that we get is important. And we get all those minerals naturally from our barley. You know that acidity and alkaline level is important because it balances out your system. And it tells you basically whether you're, you're, you, tend to get, you will tend to get sick or not. Okay, now let's move on to the third thing. The third thing is your vitamins. Okay, vitamins, when you take them, it's good. It's not bad, okay? But the best way to take your vitamins is not through um, pharma products. It's not through a vitamin C or a vitamin D pill or anything like that. The reason why is because the balance of organic and inorganic foods that are naturally made in nature. What do I mean? When you create a vitamin, um, like vitamin C, for example, that's a pharma product. That is not naturally taken or extracted from the food that you eat. The reason why people tend to take vitamins from other sources is because they're not eating properly. Why are they not eating properly? Either because they don't know what is the correct food to eat, or they don't have the right, they don't have time to eat properly, or to prepare their food well, or basically mahirap for anybody to be able to get all of their nutrients that they need on a daily basis. It's really quite impossible. What we end up doing is we end up eating a lot of fast food stuff, okay? I'm, I'm a culprit of that also. Means I've, I've been stuck in traffic for two, three hours. Gutom na gutom na ako. I forgot to eat before I left the house, okay? Kahit nag-barley na ako in the morning, I'm feeling hungry na. Oh my gosh, it's been three hours and I haven't eaten yet. And I'm gonna be stuck in traffic for another hour. What is the solution? drive through. Really, really bad decision. But unfortunately, we're all guilty of that. Now, the reason why it is so important to take your barley every day is because all the vitamins that you need, everything that you, your body nutritionally needs is in our barley. 
and it's in the natural form. It is like you ate all those different foods that is supposed to um, be taken from breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it's all in one glass of barley, basically. So everything you need is right there. Um, in my notes here, I put, uh, the doses of chemical pharma throws off the balance of the body. And the side effect is deteriorating health. I put an asterisk here because this is where I, I had planned on telling you about my personal experience with chemotherapy to show you a an example, a very, very real example of the side effect of having too much um, pharmaceutical grade uh, treatment or medication into your body. When I was diagnosed with cancer, obviously I had to take chemotherapy. Chemotherapy is, till today, the only way to battle cancer full-on, head-on, um, medically-wise. I was not going to take the risk of not doing the chemo because the doctors told me without chemotherapy, I was already 50% uh, survival rate. So 50% possibility I will die, 50% I will live. With chemotherapy, they upped it to 80%. So 80%. So that's another 30% for me that is more likely I will survive this battle than the original 50%. So of course, I wanted to take the chemotherapy. However, in exchange for that 30%, um, there are a lot of side effects. One of them is, yun nga, I would possibly never have children again because it's so toxic to the system that it'll shut down my ovaries. Number two, I would lose all my hair. All fast-producing cells would die. My hair, uh, my stomach lining, which is why also you throw up so much when you have chemotherapy. But one thing that I did not expect, um, in spite of the fact that I take my barley every single day, is I'm very highly prone to getting singaos, cold sores. Why? Because it killed, totally wiped out something in my system that even though it's been 21 years already that, that has passed, and I drink my barley religiously. If I forget the following day, I have a singao. Isn't that crazy? It's really crazy. That's because of the alkaline as acid levels. It's because the vitamins that are supposed to come from real food like barley. Barley is a real food. Huh? It's not like a vitamin like from pharma. It's a real food. Because of that, because of missing out those nutrition, nutritional values that come from, from the barley, the following day, without fail, I'll have a singao. And it's a worse feeling because it's a very clear reminder to me of what I went through 21 years ago. And it still has its effects on my body up to now. Anyway, um... I put here again, not, do not think regular food is good enough. You have to try to take organic food. It's expensive. That's why we have barley. Because if you have your barley every day, it is organic. And it will make up for all that, all that stuff that you need to buy in a supermarket. Do you know I was in the supermarket two days ago and I was looking at organic carrots. And then I looked at the regular carrots. It's like times three the price. And I decided to myself, okay, you know what? I'm just going to drink my barley. That's it. Just stick to the barley. It's so much cheaper, more effective. You get all the nutrients and vitamins your body needs. Stick to it na lang. And that's what I did. I used the non-organic carrots for my cooking. 
Because anyway, you're going to boil it. And all the enzymes die, by the way, when you cook your food. And at the same time, I'll get my nutrition from my barley. Okay, so that's the vitamins part. Next important thing is enzymes. When I say to you enzymes, what do you think of? Ako, when I think of enzymes, I think of live enzymes that are supposed to be good for your body. But how? Do many people really know how enzymes work? I mean, me personally, I didn't know how enzymes work. So until I actually looked it up, okay? Enzymes actually um, is what causes the chemical changes within the cells of our body that happens... Um, when you ingest food that has living enzymes, okay? So basically, ganito yun. You have an apple. You bite into the apple. The enzymes break down that apple. And sometimes the apple itself has enzymes. It goes into your body. And basically, your body uses it um, to build uh, certain things that causes you to have a harmonious state in your system that then gives you good health. Basically, no enzymes equals your body will shut down. That's what I read. Therefore, minerals, okay, minerals, which we talked about earlier, equals enzymes. Enzymes equals a harmonious state within your body. A harmonious state within your body equals good health. Does that make sense? That is the research that I have found out. So for me, if barley already has minerals, all the minerals your body needs, and it has enzymes, it has all the vitamins already that your body needs. The alkaline level of barley is better than any other food in the world. Plus the fact that it basically removes acidity in your body. Ano pang natitira? I think perfect food na yata yung barley, di ba? Okay, so, it says, the next thing that I wrote, the five things, kasi kasama doon yung protein. When you say protein, you know, what do you think of when you... I asked you this earlier. When you think of protein, you think of meat, eggs, fish, all of that. Basically, protein is a building block, diba, of your body. It is broken down into amino acids, which basically is what builds muscle, builds tissue in your body. It needs protein, but in specific proportions to build tissue. Barley... Apparently, there are different kinds of proteins. Huh? There's good protein and bad protein. Did you even know that? I didn't even know that. Okay. So, if you have bad protein, what is bad protein? Protein that has a lot of fat mixed with it. Okay? That is bad protein. Like meat. Meat has a lot of fat in it. Milk, unfortunately, also has a lot of fat in it. Okay? So, apparently, protein... In barley is so much better for you than actual meat did you I mean this is really shocking because because although I'm super believe already sa barley because of what it's done for me personally in my life but it has really enlightened me to do a little bit of studying again this is all research I did way back 20 years ago and I figured you know I really want to teach these guys something new about our product basically Barley has what they call lightweight protein molecules of which 90%, 90% is usable by the human body. Okay, I mean, that, that's just like, whoa. It's a better source of protein than meat or fish because there's absolutely no fat. This is, this is really amazing. Okay, so we've talked about pretty much everything already except for the last thing, which is chlorophyll. Okay, chlorophyll basically is in barley. 
And we all know that chlorophyll is a natural um, body deodorizer. Okay? It, it really does it. But I delved more into it, a little bit more into it today. And basically, I found out that, okay, let's compare people with plants. Okay? So that you can have a bit of an understanding clearer about what chlorophyll is. We all know that chlorophyll is in plants, okay? So, you have humans here and you have plants here. They have a very similar composition of electrolytes. And what are electrolytes? Electrolytes are minerals, okay? Which is why a lot of the time you get most of your minerals from plants, all right? So, you have, let's go back to the human and plant thing. You have chlorophyll and the chlorophyll and the human blood are twins in chemical structure. What does, what does that mean? It means they are made up pretty much of the same stuff, okay? Chlorophyll has manganese bonded with its structure. So basically, it's a fluid of the green leaves. Human blood has hemoglobin, which contains iron. That's red blood in man. So the fluid in the green leaves is like the red blood in man. Okay, does that make sense? It's pretty wow, right? Okay, let's take it a step further. Chlorophyll is chemically very unstable. Okay, that means you cannot actually take chlorophyll and just drink it as a supplement. Chlorophyll is only absorbed and the body is only able to take its benefits fully if it comes in the form of a plant. And guess what? The purest form of chlorophyll is found in I Am Amazing Barley. You know. You know. So, proteins, minerals, enzymes, chlorophyll, and vitamins. The five essential nutrients for good health in a human body is all found in our I Am Amazing Barley. Barley, basically, and I put this in capital letters, restores man's distorted physiological functions to its normal condition. Again, barley restores man's distorted physiological functions to its normal condition. Are you amazed? Because for me, alam ko na to dati pa, pero para akong nag-refresher course. And nung nag-refresher course ako, lal, alam mo, para akong nabuhay ng loob because I, I take my barley regularly. But, for me to re-study what I already knew from before and do a refresher really made me so, it made me feel so blessed that this is something the Lord really used me through my sickness, through my adversity, through my journey with cancer to be able to share with everyone through the platform that that I am able to do so with I am worldwide. And dami kong pwedeng ikwento sa inyo, my goodness. We, we started at 8 o'clock, no, 8.30, it's 9.30 already. We've, we've all, one hour, dire-diretso na ako nagsasalita dito. Wow! <sighs> Daldal ko pala, no? Okay. So, konti na lang, promise. Um... Through the three years, four years na tayo, this coming March 31, birthday ko? Okay. Through the almost four years natin in, uh, with our company, I have discovered a lot of uh, feedback from people from all over the world. Um, some of the things that I want to tackle tonight, kasi um, these are the most often asked questions. Paano po ba ang dosage ng barley natin? Simply yan. Dosage for infants should be, you start them, 1 to 2 grams. 
Okay? Huwag niyo todohin kagad. Hinay-hinay lang. Infant yan. Grade school kids can take one to two sachets per day. Okay? Adults can take between two to six sachets per day depending on kung may karamdaman. If they are feeling some kind of disease, okay, what do I mean by that? When you read the word disease, you can cut it into half. It's dis-ease. Okay? So when you have a dis-ease in your body, then you can take the barley and it, anything up, up between uh, three to six sachets before each meal. Now, best way to take our barley is on an empty stomach. Also, recently, I have discovered that it is better to sip the barley than to gulp it down. I know it might not taste so good sometimes for you, but imagine na lang that while you're sipping it, you're doing, you're swallowing and putting into your system all this good stuff. Okay? Also, I know that sometimes, you know, we have a batch of barley that's more mabaho than the, the other barley from last batch or, okay, or the color is parang darker or the color is a little brownish. Please, guys, as I said earlier, our barley is 100% organic. That means we don't tamper with what comes straight from the farm. What the farm gives, what the Lord basically brings out of the ground is what we bring to the table. We do not pick and choose. We do not say, ay, baka ayaw nila yan kasi medyo mabaho. Remember, the more potent, the better it is for you. Because the more potent, the stronger the effect. Okay? So please, keep in mind, you're 100% organic, or 100% GMO-free, and we are 100% gluten-free. Okay? Again, color, taste, texture, and odor is going to be different each batch. We rely on the Lord. We rely on what the ground will produce. And that is what we give to you. What we can guarantee you is that it is 100% safe. There are no adverse effects to barley. Ever. Ever. Okay. Now, having said that, if you do feel that, kunyari, dati, may pimples yung teenager mo, pinag-barley mo bigla, lalong lumala. Remember sometimes, it gets worse before it gets better. Why? Because barley, basically, is detoxing you. Okay? It, what it is doing, is it is removing years of toxins that you have put into your system. It is trying to correct and heal you from within. The best thing to do when you have any kind of side effects at all, like more pimples or biglang sumakitan or I've heard it all, okay? Trust me, there are books and books and books written that there is no side effect to barley. So it's impossible. Now, unless you're the first in history, para kang nag-overdose sa gulay. Hindi ka mag-overdose sa gulay. Gulay nga, pwede ka pa mag-overdose, di ba? Ito hindi. Promise. Ang kailangan mo lang gawin is increase your intake in water. Okay? Now, the healing will begin between 3 days to 3 months. So, don't expect and say, Oy, one week na akong nagbabarley, wala naman akong makita ang difference. 21 years na po ako nagbabarley. Siguro naman, nakikita nyo yung difference. So, everybody also is affected differently. Some people, three days. Wow! Gumanda na kaagad yung balat. Some naman, three months. Pero wala po talagang... Um, exact time na pwede namin bigay sa inyo for you to uh, hold on to. It's just a matter, it's like cancer. Cancer hits everybody differently. 
it hit, I'm stage 2 breast cancer and 21 years later, I'm still alive and kicking. I've known people who've had cancer stage 1 and they died. So, like I said, everybody, everybody's body makeup is different. Some people recover faster, some people recover really um, takes a while for them to recover. Anyway, um, why, okay, here, why is barley better than meds long term? Medicine is either excessively inorganic or organic. Diseased people can benefit from them temporarily, but on long term administration, they break the balance within the living body. I said that earlier. I'm reiterating it. Why? Because the best way to get all these things that your body needs is through natural food. And our barley is the most nutritionally packed food there is in this whole world. The reason why I joined I Am Worldwide is because Press AM, VPI ka, GM Ana, they are family to me. I entrusted our product with them because I not only love them, I trust them. I know that the company will take care of this. And we have the same goal and the same uh, idea of what we want our products to bring to people. We want to help you guys have a better life and a longer life. There's no reason, there's no point in amassing wealth for yourself if eventually you're going to get sick and have to leave it to somebody else anyway. Or worse, if you get sick and you have to spend it all on getting better. You know, it's such a cliche to say health is wealth, but honestly, it really is. At the end of the day, kahit gano kayaman ka pa, kung may sakit ka naman, wala ka rin madadala pag nawala ka sa mundong to. So remember that it is your duty to be um, an ambassador of hope. It is your duty to spread everything that you learned tonight. Um, I pray that every one of you stays safe, especially through this COVID. Um, I really pray that you all take your barley regularly. Uh, we have a lot of amazing products in I Am. But the reason why I am really uh, making a special product knowledge tonight for barley is because ang dami po talagang nagkakasakit. And it is a very scary time uh, in our lives for everybody. And if this can even help somebody not get it, then we will have done our duties, not only as um, people that spread hope and love, but also, you know, as Christians in general. Um, I really hope that you guys learned something tonight that, uh, you know, that you haven't learned before because I really am going to try to do more research for you guys um, kahit na sobrang busy ng buhay, kahit na COVID. But I will really do my best. And um, it's been an honor and it's always a pleasure for me to share this time with you all. Uh, I love you every single member of I Am Worldwide. Uh, lahat ng distributors po namin. And uh, know that I may not get to your queries or your answer uh, or, or your questions about anything right away. But rest assured that I will always get to them eventually. Um, okay, so now that I pretty much have shared what I wanted to share with you tonight. Uh, I will take maybe a couple of questions. Let's see. Um, 
wow, where do I look? Do I look at the laptop or do I look at my phone? Parang, I think the laptop is faster. Thank you so much also. I love you guys. Thank you. Um, I really pray. God bless, Arian. I can see you. Bridge, Nak, I see you. Uh, Krish, I see you, Nak. Thank you. Uh, thank you all. Hong Kong, I see you. I see you all. And my heart is really with you all. And I really, you know, just know that I will continue to do whatever I can in my power to continually share and spread hope and love and I will always make sure that we have enough products to go around. Minsan, natataranta ang lola nyo kasi um, nahihirapan din ako sometimes sa pag-import because of the uh, the situation now with the restrictions in our country with regard to importations. But believe me, if there is ever any delay, it is because I have done everything in my power na at wala pa rin akong nagawa. I think naman so far, uh, nami-meet namin lahat ng demands ninyo. And I really look forward to a more um, blessed 2021 in spite of COVID. I want to impart to all of you that even in the Bible, the Lord promises us that in times of famine, His children will prosper. So, I deeply believe that we are His children because we are doing His work. I love you. God bless you all. And I will see you all again in our next Product Knowledge. God bless everyone. Bye. Hello? Hi, Nak. Hello? Hello?